My Shadow by Robert Louis Stevenson. I have a little shadow that goes in and out with me. And what can be the use of it is more than I can see. It is very, very like me from my heel to my head. It can see and jump up before me. The funniest thing about him is the way he likes to grow, not at all like proper children, which is always very slow, for he sometimes shoots up taller like an India rubber ball, and he sometimes goes so little that there's none of him at all. He hasn't got a notion of how children ought to play and can only make a fool of me in every sort of way. He stays so close behind me He's a coward, you can see. I'd think shame to stick to Nursey as that shadow sticks to me. One morning very early, before the sun was up, I rose and found the shining dew on every buttercup. But my lazy little shadow, like an arrant sleepy head, had stayed at home behind me and was fast asleep in bed. Hi, Jefferson family. I am here excited to introduce our last installment of the poems for the month of April. I've had so much fun learning new poems, discovering new poets because of you. I hope you enjoy this really awesome variety that we have to share with you on this last Wednesday of Poetry Month. Take it away. into the sound but I got me so dizzy when I looked around I got sick to my stomach and I threw down do buses eat treads hoggy marks door huge machine yellow jacket green clean mules metal hardened slide not sure if it plays or fight slides up close up going too wide at me if I want to ride. <laughs> Hi, I'm Grace Selton. I'm from Mrs. Smith's class. Today I'm going to be reading Suddenly Green, Budding Scholars, and Cat. First, I'm going to read Suddenly Green. So Suddenly Green, our whole outdoor scene. It's happened so fast. We're already grass. Our trees have grown skin and birds have moved in. What strikes me this spring is the speed of the thing. Next one is budding scholars. Welcome flowers, write your name on a name tag. Find a seat, raise your leaf if you've taken class here before. Let's go around the, around the room. Call out your colors. I see someone's petal has felt forward. Please pick it up and put it in your desk where it belongs. Sprinklers at recess, fertilizer for lunch and you may snack on the sun throughout the day. Excuse me, what's in your mouth? A bee? Did you bring enough for everyone? And then the next one is cat. I prefer warm fur, a perfect fire to lay beside. I, a cozy lap where I can nap, an empty chair where she's not there, I want heat on my feet, on my nose, on my head. No cat I remember dislikes December inside. Mm. Have a good morning. Your octopus, tell me your octopus. I beg you those things aren't or is a vague but I'm also at three octopus. If I were Bill, I'd call me you ask. Right. Four ducks on a pond. Four ducks on a pond, a grass bank beyond, a blue sky of spring, white clouds on the land. What a little thing to remember for years, to remember with tears. 
What an awesome job everybody did. And way to go kindergarten for putting in that time to memorize that verse of the poem and put it all together with the pictures. I loved it. So boys and girls, I am thinking about what May is going to bring and I'll have something new for us in Wednesdays in May. But thank you so much for making Poetry Month a success. Keep being kind, be helpful around the house, and I'll see you real soon.